Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my golf app. Trying to do as many as we can at the moment. This one, we got a guy hitting a shot with his driver, getting in a few issues with his hand position through impact, all built around some grip issues. So let's give him some help and see if we can get him hitting a few better shots. Um, we've done this one quite a lot before, but you see it coming through a lot. It's a common, common issue. Grip plus handle delivery, now they kind of unite. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, so from this swing, what we tend to see, and it's hard to see on the camera, but as he takes the club back, I can see that his right hand is slightly round to his right of the club, while at the same time, the club is quite twisted down to the ground. So that means he is starting with his right hand a lot underneath the club, so a strong grip, as people will call it. And as he makes his backswing, he turns the club around the axis of the shaft, which people would call closed. It's not closed because that face is pointing right of where it started, but people call that closed. I would say it's turned around the axis of the shaft. He then takes the club back and we see it's slightly kind of sky bound. It's a little bit, what again, twisted. People call that closed. Now, if I was to deliver the club into a pretty neutral impact position where my handle is slightly raised from its start position, not lots, just a fraction, um, that club would return for me way left and I would hook the ball off to the left. So what you can see this guy doing, to not hit the ball left, is he's pushing the handle forward and raising it. So he's trying to hit the ball up here. All in a reaction to what's happening with his grip. So what I mean by that is if I have my right hand underneath the club then turn the club around the axis of the shaft so it points down at the ground. If I want to point the face back out straight in front of me, I need to lift the handle and push it forwards. There you go, it's straight. I've got no loft on that club now. Um, and I'm going to be hitting that ball in such an extended high position here, I'm going to struggle to contact. I find doing that dynamically, changing that lie so aggressively around my grip, well, I mean, I can't do it, I don't know, how, whenever I practice this one, I can mimic most faults, but when I practice this one, I just can't hit the ball, I don't know how you guys do it. Oh, I, get, I mean, that's going kind of like 120 yards for a free wood. I just can't put any power on it that way. Um, I, that's not a bad hit for normally for me doing that fault. So that's me, strong grip, turning it around the axis of the shaft and delivering the handle high to try and not have the face pointing way left. Uh, fix. Let's get your right hand more on top of the club. Feel like the thumb and the first finger is almost pinching more on the top of the club, not round the side. Once you've done that, you need to try and feel that as you swing the club, you're almost flattening the handle on the way down. So as you come down, feel like, don't pull your hands in, just feel like you flatten the handle, almost feeling like it's parallel to the ground for you as you come in to hit the ball. And then as you hit the ball, you must feel like you're spinning the handle around a kind of imaginary point in the middle of the grip. So I don't mean spinning the handle as in this way. I mean spinning it as in this way. So around kind of imaginary point here. Because if you don't, if your right hand on top, the delivery of the lower handle, if you don't put that extra torque in, that rotation of the handle at the bottom, what's going to happen is you are just going to hit the ball kind of four right, locky blocky style, right out to the right. So it's a complicated series of thoughts you need to have. And the first one you're going to fight with is that grip. It's going to feel so horrible, but you've just got to trust it. Right hand more on top. Make your normal backswing, you'll find that club won't twist around the axis of the shaft nowhere near as much because the right hand will stay in this more on top position, making the club twist in a different way to what you're normally used to it doing. This is the hard bit, downswing. Rather than going this way to hit the ball, you need to feel like you're moving, flattening the handle, and then at the bottom, feel like you are spinning it. Feel like you're spinning it even to the point where you are letting the head overtake your hands, what people call flicking. I know that's what people say, it's a bad thing. You'll watch most really good tour players, when they get near the ball, their left wrist will start actually extending through, so it'll start moving this way through. They're not hitting it so much this way, or the majority of them aren't, even though the world seems to think they are. Um, what you'll do is you'll have a different torque on the club face, which will allow it to return back to somewhere in relationship to your path, rather than putting this twist in on the way back and then requiring one that takes all the loft off to handle up and forwards to straighten that club face back out to anywhere in relationship to your path, but then in turn taking all the loft off. It's a difficult one, but when you get people to do this, and you have to do it in that order, right hand, drop, spin, 
um, the shots you can get people to hit are just, they transform the way they hit the ball, like transform it. The problem is, because it's quite a complicated series of thoughts, they don't hit that many good ones at the start, so it's persuading them to keep going that way. So what happens on an average, when they've changed this at the start, they often hit the ball a little bit better with their technique. It's just their bad shots are really destructive. When they do it this way, when they connect, their good shots are so much better, but they certainly struggle to strike it because it's so opposite to how they've worked out that they should hit a golf ball. And it's that opposite feeling that really affects that strike often for people and that makes it hard for them to continue doing the so-called right thing. Give it a practice, let me know how you go. I'd love to hear if this makes any sense to you or not. Right hand on top, drop that handle, then spin it at the bottom. You'll find your uh, striking will be difficult to start, but when you do connect with it, you'll get higher, further, longer, less curved shots. Uh, you'll be amazed at how good the shots can be. Give it a practice, post comments guys, love to hear. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching. Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my golf app. Trying to do as many as we can at the moment. This one, we got a guy hitting a shot with his driver, getting in a few issues with his hand position through impact, all built around some grip issues. So let's give him some help and see if we can get him hitting a few better shots. Um, we've done this one quite a lot before, but you see it coming through a lot. It's a common, common issue. Grip plus handle delivery, now they kind of unite. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, so from this swing, what we tend to see, and it's hard to see on the camera, but as he takes the club back, I can see that his right hand is slightly round to his right of the club, while at the same time, the club is quite twisted down to the ground. So that means he is starting with his right hand a lot underneath the club, so a strong grip as people will call it. And as he makes his backswing, he turns the club around the axis of the shaft, which people would call closed. It's not closed because that face is pointing right of where it started, but people call that closed. I would say it's turned around the axis of the shaft. He then takes the club back and we see it's slightly kind of skybound. It's a little bit, what again, twisted. People call